Hello fellow Ogs, Genesis here, bringing you another guide on Deus Ex Mankind Divided, this time going over the 35 triangle codes you can find in the game. Each of these are codes you can actually scan with the Deus Ex Universe application for mobile devices. Naturally, I'll be showing you where to find each of these triangle codes, and also tell you the exclusive content which they unlock. These will be listed as they appear in the menu instead of by progression, so while they will seem out of order, it will be easier to narrow down which ones you're missing. With those details in mind, let's find those codes. Our first code is located in Dubai, only a few meters from where you drop in. Go towards your objective until you drop down a couple of meters, then simply turn around and you'll be met with an air vent, which you can open up to find the code inside. The strangle code links to an unlisted video showing how the story of Icarus ties into Mankind Divided. The second triangle code is also located in Dubai during the last part of the mission. Since you're in a firefight as soon as you drop down, you can use your allies as a distraction while you run to the right and find the triangle code in a container filled with rubble. Basically dumpster diving. This code links to a private audio file that contains the developers talking about sandstorms and how they are integrated to this section of the game. We start jumping around pretty early to the red light district in Prague, on the northeast side of town, which you have access to during your second visit and where the third triangle code is located. There is an apartment above the alleyway behind the Irish stool. You can jump an Icarus dash up to the balcony. There will be shelves with some boxes directly in front of you when you get in, and the triangle code lies behind the box on the lower shelf. This code unlocks another development audio file discussing the design process for the red light district. The fourth triangle code can be found in Pilgrim Station. This is the metro just south of Chicane's place. After coming in and going down the stairs, the path to your right will lead to a restricted area where security likes to hang out. The first door you see after going down this hallway is what you're looking for, and the triangle code sits in a box on top of the lockers. This code unlocks concept art of the Palisade Property Bank. While we're on the subject, code number 5 is found in the Palisade Station, which is on the northwestern side of the city. If you go all the way down, past the boarding area, there's a maintenance closet in the back. Go inside, and this triangle code is sitting amidst some cleaning supplies on a shelf. This code leads to an unlisted video that talks about the Metro rides and how they were designed to keep the player engaged. Triangle code number six is found in the decrepit Tourist Center basement, the Tourist Center being behind Monument Metro Station. If you get into the Tourist Center and open up the locked door in the back, to the right of it is a vent that leads down into the basement. Straight back is a room labeled City Tour, and the code is sitting on top of what looks like postcard shelves within an open box. Acquiring this code and scanning it will reveal an unlisted video about reoccurring or returning characters in the Deus Ex universe. The seventh triangle code can be found out back behind Adam Jensen's apartment building in the Kronike and Ricky toy shop within Melina's apartment. Not far from Melina is a fridge, and underneath the fridge is the triangle code. This triangle code links to a hidden audio file where the developers talk about creating side quests. During your first moments in the Prague Poor District, you will come across a police checkpoint. Directly above that checkpoint is an artist's apartment, which contains triangle code number 8. You will locate this one in the back corner behind the easel. This code unlocks a private audio file in which level designers of Prague speak about telling stories by showing rather than telling. Code number 9 is found in the TF-29 headquarters. Get into the locked storage room within the infirmary, and you will find your triangle code inside the locked safe. This code links to IDOS Montreal developers talking about their inspirations while designing Task Force 29. Code number 10 is found in the NSN virtual space. Its access point is also located in TF-29, and you will be asked to sneak in during Mission 9 called Checking Out the Men in Charge. This is the only opportunity during this playthrough you'll have to get this triangle code. To locate the code, take the stairs down on the right, and take the next flight of stairs down as well. At the base of the stairs there will be a vent you have access to, and at the end of this short passage you will find the triangle code, which when scanned reveals some of the challenges that the developers had in designing this area. For triangle code number 11, you will need to make it to the ruined Ruzika station, which can be accessed from any of the subways in Prague. The Vitruvian Cafe is on the south side, and there's a maintenance passage directly above it. In here is where you will find the triangle code. When scanned, this is another audio recording of the developer speaking about the challenges in small environments and balancing this area in particular for every playstyle. Code 12 is found in Adam Jensen's apartment and can be grabbed as soon as you actually start playing. This one is located under the floorboards in Adam's room. This code leads to an unlisted video which has the developers talking about what hints you can find in his apartment that help to close the two year gap between Mankind Divided and Human Revolution. 
Code number 13 is also found in Adam's apartment, but will require a bit more brute force because it's underneath the fridge. Scanning this code with the app leads to a short interview video with Elias Tufexis, the one who played Adam Jensen. If nothing else, you can see it for the shirt he's wearing, with the infamous Jensen quote. In the early parts of the game, you are sent to Kohler's time machine to get a checkup, as it were, and it is in Kohler's basement where you will find it triangle code number 14. After taking the secret elevator down to his workshop, you can activate a painting to your right, which will open up to a small ventilation shaft. Once you get in here and choose to shut off the gas valve for your health, the safe in here will contain the triangle code which unlocks a video that details the design choices when making Kohler, the handy AUG technician. The 15th triangle code is found in the office of Otar Botkovelli. The entrance to his underground casino can be found behind the tube house in the northwestern section of Prague. Get into his casino by force or by words, and in his office there is a ventilation shaft with the triangle code just inside. This code will link to an unlisted video detailing the creation of Otar's casino and why it's in the sewer. In the northeastern side of Prague, with a marionette shop as a front, is Chicane's place. You will find triangle code 16 hidden here. After entering, take the vent above the machinery on the right side, and after getting down below, you will find a picture with two airplanes on it. Activating it will reveal a switch to a secret room. Get inside, and the triangle code is located in the weapons locker. Due to the location, this code reveals an interview with Chimimwe Miller, the voice behind Elias Chicane. During Mission 11, you may gain access to the Church of the Machine God, also known as Allison Stanek's apartment building. Code 17 is found in a maintenance closet connected to the courtyard and can be accessed by going up the stairs and going into the ventilation shaft at the top of the first flight. The code sits on a shelf in this closet, which reveals hidden audio with more insight into how the Church of the Machine God came into being. The 18th triangle code is also in the Church of the Machine God, inside of Allison Stanek's room on the fourth floor. That would be apartment 96. There's a loft adjacent to the uh, Pillar of Enlightenment, and the triangle code is under one of the boxes up here. This code once scanned gives access to an interview with Sonia Ball, the actor who plays Allison Stanek. The 19th code is in the Picus Corporate Vault, a location in Palisade Property Bank that is not a walk in the park to access. The Picus Vault keycard can be found in apartment 94 at the Diwali Apartments in the Red Light District. And once you find it, you can actually sneak into the corporate vaults by going to the Palisade Property Bank parking structure and entering through the giant fan vents in there. After inside the corporate vault, the triangle code is on the left side out in the open. With likely a lot of questions when you enter this vault, this code might answer some of them by linking to a short video. Code 20 is also in the Palisade Property Bank and is found in the CEO's secret office, which is all the way up on the ninth floor in an obviously restricted area. The CEO's office itself isn't too hard to get to. For the secret room, however, you can solve the pillar puzzle near the entry or take the vent behind the television screen. After getting to the secret office, there's a safe behind the painting in here and the code is within that safe. This code unlocking audio information about the nature of the Palisade Property Bank and how it's not a traditional bank as we know them by any means. South of Chicane's place is the Libouche Apartments. Hoping the pronunciation is correct, this is where code 21 is found. It's located in apartment 96 on the third floor. You can take the ventilation shaft in the restroom into a secret office where the code is actually located in a box underneath the desk you emerge from. Scanning this code leads to a behind the scenes audio file with development staff talking about designing the Prague hub and its many apartment buildings. Triangle code number 22 is found in Bossman Miller's apartment, which is room 203 in the Halavni apartment building, just down the western street from TF29. After getting up into Miller's apartment, a single jab to the punching bag will reveal a secret office. The code lies on the shelves directly below the computer. Scanning this code leads to an unlisted interview with Vernon Wells, the actor who plays Jim Miller. Just south of Chicane's place is the closed down limb clinic in Prague. This is where you find triangle code number 23. There is an overhang to the right of the entrance, which once you come up here reveals a ventilation shaft, which takes you to the limb clinic's storage attic. The triangle code sits atop a large box. Scanning this code will show you an unlisted video, revealing the fate of limb clinics after the AUG crisis. The next two are found in the Diwali Theater, behind the red light district after you have access to it. Code 24 can be found on the catwalks above the stage, 
shimmy up to the catwalks and get behind the curtain and there will be a light in the back corner leading you right to it. This code actually leads you to the entirely public DXTV first hands-on episode, during which another triangle code is revealed. Code 25 is found in the Diwali Theater also, as mentioned before, in the manager's office right next to the dressing rooms. A couple of the red wall panels on the right side of the desk can actually be activated to reveal a hidden safe. Get into this safe and the triangle code as well as a couple other goodies are available to you. Scanning this code will link you to an audio file talking about the Diwali family, the most powerful crime organization in Prague. During mission 7 you head to Golem City and the Udalek complex is where you drop in. Triangle code number 26 is found in an apartment near the market here. Just past the market and up the stairs, head into unit 150252. Inside, the triangle code is to your right on the desk. Triangle code 26 shows a video talking about the importance of this apartment in particular and the Rabia reporter that lives or lived here. Code 27 is found a little ways further in Mission 7, in the office of Talos Rucker, the leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. When you are face to face with him, you are in the right place. After your meeting, head to the left of Rucker's desk, to a small reading room, and there will be an exposed safe. Open it up to find the triangle code inside. Scanning this code leads to an unlisted video of an interview with Alex Ivanovich, the actor who plays Talos Rucker. During mission 13, Jensen travels to the Garm facility, where you find three more triangle codes starting with number 28. After making it to the hangars, there is a corridor that joins hangar 1 and 2. You will find this triangle code on a small mobile workstation just about halfway. This code, after being scanned, reveals a developer discussion on why they chose the Swiss Alps for this secret facility. Backtrack to hangar 1 to find triangle code number 29, where the progression breaks a little bit. In the north corner of Hangar 1, up on the third floor, is some sort of monitoring room. You'll find the triangle code underneath a box in the shelves right next to the weapons locker. This code unlocks an audio file that reveals this as Marchenko's office and some details within. Move on to Hangar 2 to locate Triangle Code 30. Underneath the large tent here is a robotics maintenance area. Under the robot close to the middle of the room, on some small shelves you will find the code. And when scanned, this unlocks an audio file talking about this room being an homage to the last game, Human Revolution. The last four codes are found in the Apex Center, a place you show up towards the end of the game in Mission 15. Come down from the roof and you will be in the 7th floor security area. In here is where you find Triangle Code 31. Get through the checkpoint into the command center and upstairs to the main command room. There's a panel that leads to a small maintenance area up above, and you will find the triangle code atop an electrical panel. Once you scan this triangle code, you'll learn through an audio file the challenges developers faced when designing the Apex Center around multiple playstyles. The 32nd triangle code is found on floor 4. After you find the security card at the party, make your way towards the maintenance room which it unlocks. After you make it into this maintenance hallway, the first door on your right will lead you into a locker room, one of which contains the triangle code. Scanning this triangle code reveals a video of developers talking about the narrative challenges in this final part of the game and where the player choices come to fruition. One of the most out of order triangle codes is number 33. On top of that, it is also one of the easiest to miss because this is found in the exhibition hall where you have your showdown with Marchenko. On the southeast side, there will be a small security room upstairs and the door will be blocked off by large crates. Get into this room however you see fit and the code will be on the desk between the two monitors. With how this one is acquired, scanning code 33 leads to an audio file speaking about what the developers learned through boss fights in Human Revolution. Some of the decision making might change which ones you find first, but next on the list is triangle code number 34. You will pass through an area with several conference rooms and offices. On the fifth floor, find the meeting room labeled C110. If you are able to make it inside, the triangle code lies on the cabinet to your right. This yields a very different reward when scanned and shows concept art of the Panchea Memorial located within the Apex Center. The final triangle code to collect, number 35, is located in the VIP meeting room where the delegates meet up. This is accessed via a lift in the aforementioned conference rooms and offices on level 4 and 5. There is a wine cart near a couch in here, and this triangle code is on the cart. Upon scanning code 35, you'll learn through an audio file why there is a very different design to the VIP room as opposed to everything else in the Apex Center. That fellow Ox is all 35 of the triangle codes found in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. If you found this guide entertaining, useful, or both, do whatever it is you see fit to show that. If you wish to see more no-nonsense guides like this one, you know what to do. This is Kato Genesis, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you luck on uncovering the truth in Deus Ex.